Okay, Josh here, and I'm at the Ritz Carlton, Denver. I do reviews like this all over the world. Please subscribe. Your support means so much. But we're doing the two best hotels, in my opinion, in downtown Denver, both in Marriott, the Ritz Carlton here, and also the Sheraton. Here's the arrival entrance of the Ritz Carlton. It's one of the most expensive hotels in the whole city and one of the most luxurious. Um, the rooms look amazing. That's the main reason why I chose it. They look very luxurious. But I'm really excited to actually review the property and show you. Let's go. Okay, here we are at the Ritz Carlton Denver. Come on in, I can't wait to show you the room. So right when we come in, we have this little area here with this nice little rack with all these little amenities from juice to the Nespresso machine. That's high end, complete opposite of what the Sheraton Denver had. This is an actual high end coffee machine, which is the cream of the crop. Now, right when you walk in as well, we have the bathroom over here. Okay, so right when you walk in, the first impression of the bathroom is wow. Very luxurious feeling, a lot more luxurious than the Sheraton Denver. Probably one of the most luxurious bathrooms. Beautiful countertop as well, with we have a shower and a toilet room and a big tub. So you not only have the tub, you also have the shower and um, even the flooring, just every little detail of the bathroom. Feels very nice. It's not extreme well, but it is definitely high enough luxurious. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the room part, which is going to be over here. So walking this way, there's this little hallway. There's a nice big double door closet here, plenty of space to store your belongings. There's two luggage racks in there, um, as well as um, the safe and things like that. So the nice thing is here, we do have the two luggage racks. We do have a robe. However, it is extremely thin, not plush at all. I do not approve. And then we do have the brand standard slippers, which are really thick. These are, I approve of, they're very nice, but there was just only one pair in our closet. Now into the main room itself, it is very spacious, even more spacious than the shared room that we were in. But we got the two queen beds in the room, and I really like this overhang of the lights. It adds an element of sophistication that um, luxury hotels are known for, as well as this different layering of the, of the headboard here with the wall. Just uh, really nice touches. We have a nightstand here with real glasses, notepad. And then um, the room is all carpeting, except for the main when we first walked in, which is hardwood. But everything does feel very clean. It feels very luxurious, very homey. Um, I'm really impressed so far. As well, in front of the beds, you can view the TV here, and we have storage areas, as well as a fridge in there where you can store your drinks. Now over here, we do have a work desk. There's a lot of business travelers that stay at this property Monday through Thursday. So you have a space here with outlets you can work. This chair's getting a little old, a little dated, um, but they're actually gonna be doing a remodel of this hotel probably come summer, and that's a sneak peek. Um, they're not really uh, putting it out there that much, but I'm really excited to come back when everything is remodeled. So if you come on over here, now I wanna show you this area because we actually have a space here as well to sit down on or maybe put your luggage out. You just have some extra uh, space over here, but the room does feel larger than the Sheraton room, but it definitely feels more luxurious and nice. Um, we do still have a lot of just bare flat walls in the room, which doesn't really inspire that high end of luxury, but I'm excited to see what the remodel looks like come next year. We do have a view as well looking out at the Denver uh, downtown area, which is um, a great plus to have the city view room. Overall, so far I'm super impressed. Definitely a luxurious room. It's not extreme well like a lot of other Ritz Carlton's I've been to around the world, but for the Denver area and for the USA, it actually is quite up there. I really feel comfortable in here and it is nice. Now I can't wait to show you the rest of the hotel. Let's check it out. The Ritz Carlton Denver is centrally located near the 16th Street Mall. It's not one of the coolest looking buildings, but it still is a very good location. Now the hotel does have 202 rooms and suites. Now they are beginning to look a little bit dated, but they're still very decent. I did enjoy my stay. It did feel luxurious, but it was getting a little bit tired. But the rooms off most of them feature good city views, um, not in the perfect location in Denver, but it was at least close to the 16th Street Mall. The hotel does have one restaurant on property called 
L ways. It is very spacious, but it is extremely dated and really showing its age. Now they do offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We did try breakfast and I will be honest, the breakfast was actually very good. We really enjoyed it, um, but otherwise I'm excited to be back when it is remodeled. Now the hotel does also offer a fitness center that is open all the time to guests. It was very modern. It doesn't have any sort of views or city views. It's kind of like downstairs, but still nice. Now the hotel does also have a spa. It is an extra charge though of $75 for guests and $100 if you're not a guest. They do have a steam room though that's included as well as a whirlpool, cool drinks, relaxation lounge, and showers. The hotel also does have nice meeting spaces and really beautiful lobby bathrooms. Now in the morning until about 11 a.m. this hotel does put off coffee and tea which is a great feature to kind of start the day off right. Okay now for the review of the Ritz Carlton Denver so let's go ahead and start with the room. The room is going to get a 5 out of 5. It was clean. Well, it wasn't like extravagant. It was still clean, nice, especially the bathroom, very luxurious. Next up is going to be Inspiration. This hotel is going to get a 4 out of 5 for me on Inspiration. It's, of course, nothing like a lot of other Ritz Carltons I've been to around the world that are just extreme wow. It's still very nice. It's just it is getting a little bit older and dated. And that's actually why they're going to remodel the property coming this summer. So I can't wait to come back. And I'm sure by then it will be a five out of five on inspiration. But right now it is just a four. Everything is looking a little tired, especially the breakfast and their um, their main restaurant there, as well as um, just the room. It's getting a little bit tired, the furniture and everything. Next up is going to be uh, service. Uh, the service is going to get a four and a half out of five. Now, let me start. The service here compared to other Ritz-Carlton's in the U.S. I've been to has been very good. Front desk staff, perfect. So friendly, so accommodating, absolutely amazing. The areas for improvement, why it's only a four and a half, is specifically coming in and out of the doors. Half the time, no one was there to open the door, and the other half, they only opened one door. When there was two doors there, it is brand standard to have those doors open every time. So most of the times, we did have to open our own door, but at a Ritz-Carlton, you do expect that high level of service, which just didn't happen every time. Okay, the other reason for a little bit lower score on service is um, I think it should be important every time you're walking through the lobby to be greeted or have someone visiting with you, which I've had at a lot of other properties that I've stayed at. Um, they just, it wasn't really anyone, unless you go to the front desk to like visit with. Um, I do appreciate the amenity they delivered to them with our status. Um, so that was a plus. So good service, it just, it, it could be improved. And then finally, value, how much do I personal, personally value the property? I'm gonna go ahead and give that a four out of five. Um, the reason is because uh, while it still is a luxury hotel and probably the best hotel in Denver that I would choose to stay at other than the Four Seasons, which just got a full renovation, um, it still has a lot of improvement from uh, the dated rooms, restaurant, a little bit more of service. And then the views are, they're nice, but they're not like in incredible. Uh, but otherwise, I can't wait to come back when everything is completely remodeled. I think it could get a perfect score, uh, but otherwise still a great score here for the Ritz-Carlton. Okay, now for the pricing. So if you're using your Marriott Bonvoy points, it's only 50 to 70,000 points a night. Now the cash rate is gonna be between like 500 to $700 a night, and some peak times even up to over $1,000. So depending on the price point, it actually makes sense to use points, because if the rate is around $500 and you're only spending 50,000 points, you're getting a penny a point, which I consider a very good value. Um, if it's uh, like, even if the price is over, you know, seven, eight hundred, even a thousand dollars, and it's maybe 70,000 points, you're still getting that penny a point. So I would recommend using points to stay at the Ritz Carlton here, as it is a very, very good value compared to the cash rate.